We have nine furlongs and a million dollar purse. Pennsylvania Derby Field, they're in the gate. And they're off. I rap came bouncing right out of there. Now play in timeline, both at the inside. West Coast is close up. On the outside, here comes Game Over with Irish War Cry. Now IRAP will take back, as will Timeline. So it's out play and West Coast together to the first turn. Game Over is three wide in third. Irish War Cry trying to get over just a bit of the four spot. Timeline is down inside. He's unhurried today. He's seated fifth. IRAP is now sixth on the outside. Watch Me Whip is down inside running seven. Talk Logistics eighth. That is Giuseppe the Great. And well back to long shot Term of Art as they get ready for that run up the back stretch, 23 and one for the first quarter mile. And as they head to that back stretch, it's out playing in front. West Coast will shadow the pace. He's just a neck back as those two go toward the 5 8 pole. Length and a half back to game over. He's sitting third by just over length. Timeline continues with his inside trip. He's sitting fourth by one. Irish War Cry on the outside fifth. Going to the half mile pole he is just better than three lengths behind. He's two in front of Iraq. They went the half in 47 and one. So that is a reasonable place for out, a reasonable pace for outplay. Who goes to the far turn in front by just a length? West Coast yet to be called on. Game over trying to make a three wide bid. Here comes Irish War Cry sweeping up four wide. Irap is drawn within three lengths of the lead. Here comes West Coast now. Coming to the 516th pole, West Coast able to overtake outplay, and West Coast is in front with two furlongs to go. Irish War Cry looks to be leveling off just a bit. No advance from Game Over as they approach the top of the stretch. It is Mike Smith and West Coast. West Coast coming down to the last furlong in front by three and a half. It's Irap who's lugging in. West Coast trying to make a big statement here today. Coming to mid stretch, he's opened up by four. It's Irap second. It's all West Coast as they come down to the finish. Is this his statement for the three-year-old championship? Wow, West Coast has it by six on the wire. Statement made. West yeah. Coast building off that grade one win in the Travers. All smiles from Hall of Fame trainer Bob Baffert. West Coast rolls in the grade one Pennsylvania Derby. What do they have, 14 horses in the Breeders' Cup Classic, Randy? I mean, like five or six of them are going to be Baffert horses. <laughs> the man is just loaded. This was the best performance of this horse's career, and that's Agreed. saying something. The fact that he's able to sit off the pace, run away from the field, Randy, that Baffert does it again. West Coast, a far turn. He just he just put the race away. I don't know, in about 50 yards, and ran away from uh, the field. You know, you could do all the trip handicapping you <laughs> want of the Travers and what IRAP was wide and West Coast was on the rail. So much for that. There's so much for when you get Bob Baffert coming east with these horses. The numbers show it. Yep. I mean, this this was a dynamic performance. This horse just keeps getting better and better and better. And right now, if the voting were held right now, there's no doubt about it. West Coast would be the three-year-old champion. He'll go on to the Breeders' Cup Classic and we'll see.